Yo, what's up guys? I'm hyped today. I'm stoked oh, tonight. I'm super stoked. My name is Thomas Dopaziola, whatever you want to call me. This is the Dope As Usual podcast. This is my co-host, Marty O'Neill. What's up, guys? What's up, guys? We're cussing. We're going hard. We might bleep it to stay on YouTube's good side, but here we are. Guys, this episode, me and Marty, what, two seconds before we started? Guest episode, you said it was like a presentation for school. Like, be prepped. Be ready. Yo, the sub's gone. Not even the, there's a sub. The sub went to the bathroom. Yeah, we're chilling. Do whatever you want. You could sell stuff. That's pretty much what these episodes are. I'm excited, guys. I'm really hyped. We have a lot of good news, a lot of good stuff happening. Just the most stuff on earth happening all at once. Some of the most insane stuff of all time in house actually going down. <laughs> Bunch of dope stuff. Also, this is the first time Marty did all the, I don't know what's coming up today. Usually I'm like, yo, Marty, I want to talk about this. And you're like, oh, okay, I got a few topics. And then we mix and we, we have an episode. Today, Marty wrote them all out and went, let's go with what you got. And you tell me. So this yeah. is a, this is like a, we're going to try, try something new today. But we just want to hang out with you guys. I'm hyped today. It's what, Friday night? Yeah. It's Friday night. It's like 11 o'clock at night. We're going to bust this out. Guys, this is going to be fun. The solo episode, we have guest after guest after guest coming up. So this is the, you know. Mm -hmm. Our little get together, yeah. a catch up nice episode. Nice, like, catch up episode. It was supposed to be Jaleel, but he actually had his wisdom teeth out. So yes, gonna, wisdom teeth out, but like, he'll be next next week. We'll let you recuperate. Yeah. <laughs> don't, no, don't come with your mouth cut open. It's cool. He's like, will we come in a couple days later? I'm like, bro, no, just wait a week, then come in. So that's what we're doing right now. And also, right off the bat, let's do it right now. If you have any questions for the artist Jaleel, Drop them in the comments. Yes. Drop them in the comments. We do up to the first thousand. Rocco's actually right here today. Rocco helps me, us with all the comments. He's waving. So he's here. He's here right now. So Jaleel, the artist, the musician, we usually ask this on Dope As Usual podcast Instagram. We'll ask you, what do you want to uh, do? If you could ask a question for this artist, what would it be? We're doing that on YouTube today. So if you have any questions you want to ask, drop it in the comments. We'll go through them and you might see your question pop up with Jaleel next week. All right. Let's go. I That's hope cool. he got all his wisdom teeth taken out. They <laughs> did me filthy back when I was a 17 year old boy. What do you mean? They only took out three of them. Me too. I have one left. But that other one was still coming down. Dude, back here. And when I was driving home from the episode, uh, mom episode part what? two. What? Like half my tooth fell out. Yeah. You didn't tell me this. Yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah. It, I was like, Something weird's going on with my tooth. You go to it, Eastern Dental? Well, no, I go to No Dental because April's like, whoa, well, you kidding. gotta wait till September. We'll get some dental. dental what? Insurance. No, just pay for yeah, it. Yeah, I know. That's what I was thinking. She's like, no, you're good. It'll be fine. But come to find out, I mean, my wisdom tooth was actually coming down and pushing out my back molar. Baller. So it like knocked out like half of it. It didn't really do it at once. So I was just driving. That ludicrous home tooth. I don't know about that. Move. Get out the way. Oh, <laughs> I really thought you were going to get that one, Marty. Like, That's that ludicrous oh, too. I had so much ludicrous. Oh, I know. I knew you did. It was like, which album? Which, what are we doing here? Uh, 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 Southern Hospitality? <laughs> no. No. Yeah. So anyway, I rocked that half a tooth for a minute. And then the uh, rest <laughs> of it came out. The <laughs> rest of that shit popped out before fucking September rolled around. So. It fell out on its own? Yes. Natural. Marty. Yeah. It's not the 1600s. Yeah, I know. I You're know. Not I was... in Ireland. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Marty's from Ireland. We're not yeah. saying Irish, Irish people <laughs> don't have dental insurance. That's not what we're saying. He's Irish. Yeah. yeah. It's not the 1600s. Yeah, not cool, though. I'm like, no, bro, why you guys were in there. Take out all four of them. What are we doing? Um, did I ever tell you what happened with me? Did they just pull them out? Or did they break them into pieces and what? scoop them out? No, not, I'm pretty sure you. they just. Mine crumbled into pieces. He snapped it and looked at me, and I'm like, sounded bad. Wait, your wisdom teeth? Yeah, they broke them down you mean, and then scooped it out. You were awake? Out. Yeah. What? Western Dental. That could be the problem. <laughs> Western Dental. That's why I say, oh, you went to Eastern, Eastern. Dental. <laughs> it's the ghetto, like, oh, my mom <laughs> is a single mother. Damn. We need money. We do these Western awake. Dental. <laughs> no, the, the guy only comes in once a month and does everyone's in one day. I was like number 30 in line to get my teeth pulled out. And as he's doing it, I'm pushing my jaw back. I'm like, stop, stop, stop. You're going to break it. I can feel my jaw about to crack. 
I could feel the pressure like, no, no, stop, stop. And I, I held it like this while he broke it because I was so afraid that he's like, I've never broken anyone's jaw. And I told him, I feel it. It's going to come off. Stop. Stop pressing that hard on my face. I got kind of upset and he looked at me like, do you want me to do it? I go, yeah. Can I at least hold my chin? Just do whatever you want to do. And I had my earphones in my ear pod, uh, my iPod. I made a Beatles playlist to try to space out. It didn't help at all. And as he's breaking it, <laughs> I can hear fuck? it crumble, like break. And he shows me after it's just pieces and he scoops the bottom out. I'm sure somebody out there in the comments <laughs> has had that happen. Dent dentist, I've had bad luck, man. Jesus Christ. It didn't hurt. It hurt the jaw. I felt like it was going to break Wait, off. were your wisdom teeth like showing through? Or no, they, they numb them. Gums? No, they sliced it. They cut yeah. me and then pulled them. And we broke them. Awake for that shit? Everyone was. You just get the you just get the shots. Oh. Numbs you. That's it. I'm I was poor. Out. I was poor, yeah. Marty. Uh -huh. I paid for it on that's my the own. Only I time I've ever been college. put out. <laughs> no, dude, Western Dental. They don't have time for that. Damn. That There's the waiting torture. room, and on the other side of the wall is where everybody's getting their teeth You're ripped all out. Inside my mouth, and I'm just looking at you and shit. Like, yeah, it was awkward, bro. It was very weird. It's they were crunching. I could hear it. That's the only thing that sucked is I can hear. <laughs> And he said, like, "Do you want to see it at the end?" And I saw shards of my teeth. It was disgusting. Like Josh the Wolf's wife. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. But the inside of teeth, it looks exactly like you would think. Mm. Just like the outside, but whiter. That's, that's it with blood in it. It's crazy, Oof. dude. I saw my teeth chunks and was like, <sighs> "Yeah." Gross. The most horrifying, disgusting feeling in life is biting down as you're chewing and. Realizing you just crunched a tooth. I've never felt that. It's Me neither until the ha second half of the fucking molar came out. <laughs> nah. Why did we talk? Ooh. Why did this happen? What were we? Oh, Jaleel, you got your teeth pulled. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can't talk. We can't talk about certain things because we'll never just come back. Uh-huh. Um, I'm interested in looking, doing my little research and looking more into like his whole story and everything. I don't know a lot, but from what I've been... The first time I ever saw him was a TikTok, and I went, he does have the oddest build I've ever seen on a human. And then I saw another one, and goes, oh, he's an artist. And I saw him doing a backflip off like 20 feet and landing like a like an anime character. I go, who is this? Yeah, he's like Francis Ngannou size. Oh, he's huge. <laughs> yeah. Fool's like he punched through a tree. Mm -hmm. It's crazy, bro. He looks like a beast. And I saw it and I go, oh, he's an artist. And then everyone's like, you should get Jaleel. And then we told Malcolm, yeah. can you get Jaleel for us? Because everybody's asking for him. Because Stilo mentioned him. He, he, he mentioned him too, yeah. Off. He mentioned him too. I just saw a video of him crowd surfing and he was just too big. To he went surf. on and they all tipped over and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's a good problem to have, man. Like, you know, like my music, I'll punch you right in the face. I'm not for real, guys. I'm kidding. But. Yeah. Mm, it's a good look. It's going to be it's interesting. Cool. I'm looking forward to that episode. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited to hear what, what he's got to say. Mm -hmm. Like, we haven't researched fully, so it's going to be fun. You guys made that one happen, all right? Thank you. You guys did that. You guys always nonstop ask me my DMs, like, you should get Jaleel. I'm like, mm -hmm. ooh, Jaleel White. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, it's an artist. And mm -hmm. then I saw him, like, that's the guy from TikTok. Even if we don't respond, all mm -hmm. the suggestions are always like, we really try to make note of them and think about so them, add them to the list. Shots, it's been so amazing. To be working with Malka. Amazing. Like, it's been so uh, fun and exciting every time my little Slack notification goes off because it's like, you don't know what they're going to say. I know we they've can't say been, everything, but. No, we they've been throwing just. Bro, every morning you text me, I go, shut up. <laughs> every time I get it, I go, Rosie, <laughs> shut yeah. up. Who they hit up? Who said they're coming? Oh, my God. It's really cool. It's not just two potheads anymore going, hey, would you like to come on our show? Yeah. <laughs> it's really nice to have, like, just all the slots kind of filling up and have, like, a real professional oh. high-level team handling it. It's just great. It's what the show deserves. It's how it's the only way to keep leveling it up. And it's, it's really crazy. exciting to see it happen. And just the fact that they're so excited to be making it happen. I can feel that. Perfect. Perfect segue. Mm-hmm. Perfect segue into them. this next little, little topic real quick. Well, okay. oh, we're going to go to number two. Okay. Yeah, no. Go right ahead. This is all you. Now, mind you, I didn't know anything about this next topic. But once I realized, I just knew it became a priority that we had to make this happen. So I let Malcolm know, like, we need to make this happen. And they went, not only did they make it happen, but they did us one better. Guys. Oh, my God. The first time I ever heard this artist, my friend Deuce, shout out to Deuce, he lives in Sacramento, first time. 
he told me about this group and I, what I used to do, I, I did not, I didn't have lime wire and stuff. We're at 10 minutes. We're at 10 minutes. Okay. I was, I didn't have lime wire. So what I would do is streetlight records, Santa Cruz, shout out to streetlight records in Santa Cruz. My homie Ralph used to help manage that. My sister used to work there. That's why I went to all the shows at catalyst, met all these rappers and stuff. Cause I was the, the little brother that l- actually was a fan. So they'd be like, yo, this will actually listen to your music, got all your albums. Come up to the front. You didn't have a brother. When did you get LimeWare? I never, no, I said I never had it. So didn't? the re- the way I would listen to music, I'd go to Streetlight, buy a new record, an album, and see if I like that band or artist. And I would listen to it front to back while looking at the cover art. Yeah. Every, that's how I listen to music. Mm-hmm. Or if I'm by myself, smoke mad joints, not driving, and listen to music. And that's how I would... That's how I break in every album. And as soon as it finishes, I go, didn't hit me that hard. I'm going to have to do it again. Boom, play it again. Just to mm-hmm. see if I, like, if I bump it twice and I'm not great, it's not a great album to me. The were, fir- the, like, were you deep into music before you started smoking? Or did the... Yeah, my whole okay, life. Okay. I was a little kid. Like, you'd zone out pre-weed? Yeah. Um, my favorite thing on earth is I'm an insomniac. You remember waking up? Now, that's what I call music. Yeah. But do you remember the other ones where it'd be, like, an old member of whatever band with a new young girl... Well, in the 60s, we did this. Yeah, when I started this band. And you always tell uh-huh. the old guys, like, get away from me. The girl that was introducing him, he's like, and then the, the names of the songs. Would, you remember by Ram Jam, uh-huh. this <laughs> name. And uh-huh. they'd play eight seconds of that clip. That's how I learned bands as a kid. Mm. That's how I fell in love with classic rock, because the classic rock with Roger Daltrey, he was the guy on it. Anyway, I used to watch it every night. It would be the same information for like four years straight. Damn. That's how I found out about classic rock. And I would uh, put them on the internet. And then I found LimeWire, but I didn't know how to really do it. I had my friend help me. And that's when I started how to gotcha. do it. But that was like 14, 15. Before that, I was just asking my grandma, my grandpa, how do I find this music? And my grandpa watched doo-wop concerts on TV all the time. So that's how I started liking doo-wop and uh-huh. Motown. That's why I have all those box sets and stuff. Because you would think you grew up next to a fucking... Bodega that slang the hottest underground mixtapes because your poor, bro. knowledge of money. underground hip hop alone, aside from everything else, that's thirteen and up, is so deep. Mm-hmm. Like you, you could do a whole. We could do a whole episode on just underground hip hop mm-hmm. shit that ninety nine percent of people don't know about. That was that the CDs, about. and my friends would burn CDs. Mm-hmm. I would borrow them. Mm-hmm. That's how I wasn't really like super. Like I had like Jedi mind tricks. Jedi I had mind tricks like, great. Uh, immortal technique, all that type of stuff. Uh, oh man, I'm sh- I'm doing myself, but I wasn't like super underground rap like that. I didn't like anything on the radio because I didn't. You know what? This is really what it is. When I'm at school and I hear somebody being ignorant and dumb, whether it is they're they're a nice person or not, when I hear it and I go, oh, get away from me. They might be a nice person, mm-hmm. but I'm an asshole. I think, and I'm like, you like what? That's your favorite band. Oh, fuck, the fuck with you. That's your favorite band. Not to their face, because that's mean. Yeah. But in my head, I'm like, I judge you differently now. That's your favorite artist? That's whack. Mm-hmm. You, you know, stuff like that. That's your favorite movie? Things like that. So when it came to that, and I heard that, say that girl's annoying me, and she's like, well, Trey Songs and Nelly is my favorite artist. I'm like, well, now I do not listen to that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's so what you like? I don't want to be a part of it. I love Nelly. Nelly's awesome. But I'm saying that's how it started for me and how I went anti-mainstream, would not listen to it. Then I realized I was an ignorant bitch. Mainstream artists were underground to begin with, and they got so popping that now yeah. they're mainstream. I was an ignorant hater. But no, bro. there was a time in the 90s and 2000s where there was like, the record exec that just found him and molded oh, yes, him, and yes, now yes. he's your favorite. Yes. Like, no, I, but then I you that. had DMX, who was just DMX him. mainstream to me. Never listened to him, only my mom, mm-hmm. because I was like always oh, on the radio on TV. I'm cool. You'll never get that again, crazy, though, huh? Because think about it, you'll never get somebody that authentic. Because like DMX, for instance, everybody coming up, they didn't have any sort of periscope out to the outside world. They were just them in their little existence a lot of those all they knew like no real so much awareness that the internet brought about like i don't know that's a weird crossover generation of pre-internet to current where as far as an artist goes because now you're influenced by everything i know about coming up so i'm aware of so much more now outside of my own reality yeah you know like it's just it's hard to explain but it's just somebody like him is an example Coming up in his story, uh, I don't know if I don't know. I don't know if we get that again. 
that originality? I don't know. There's a lot of artists out there I think you would like a lot. Mm -hmm. I need to make well, a playlist. You put me on the one. Oh, yeah. So, oh, back. We're, oh, we are off track. First time I ever heard this artist. I bought these CDs from mm -hmm. Streetlight. Went home. It was like day six in living in my apartment with Jeebus, the first apartment I ever had. You know what I mean? Me and him. Yeah, I had a spot with my grandpa when he moved down. I had the house, but I was underage. I didn't have a car. I was still going to school. It was trash. I put my headphones in, put my iPod on. I mean, put the mute. No, no, no. I bought the CDs. That's right. And then I finally figured out someone to put it on my iPod so I could listen to it in my headphones. But what I did is I put the CD player on and I listened to this album and I fucking fell in love with this music and I couldn't believe I never heard it before. And that was in 2008. Damn. 2008. Yeah. So I'm talking about Atmosphere. My favorite rapper of all time is Slug. I mean, I'm not saying Atmosphere is my favorite rapper because it's a group. But Slug of Atmosphere is my favorite rapper of all fucking time. You guys know that I talk about it constantly. I love that fool's music so fucking much. Favorite artist of all time. So when I was in Indiana, Chicago. Oh, no, no. When I, was, I wasn't in Indiana yet. When I was in Chicago. I was at the breakfast spot. If you watch the, if you watch the vlog... When I was looking, check out this breakfast. Two seconds after we stopped filming, this fool texts me a fucking screenshot from Malcolm Media. And I almost shed a fucking tear. I screamed as loud as I could in the restaurant. Like, <laughs> no fucking way. Screamed, bro. Fucking booked them. <laughs> what? They're coming on the show, guys. I, I don't. I don't remember where I was on my first birthday, but I that's how I feel. I don't remember. That's how I feel. Like, <sighs> touch my fucking personal heart. win, the personal victory. Let's go. My favorite artist of all time, bro. You got the albums hanging up in your house. I've been to every atmosphere show I've ever been to was alone. I told you that until this last one. I've gone Damn. by myself to everyone because nobody was ready to go and go, I'm not fucking missing it. I went to the Red Rocks. I mean, I went to the Greek Theater by myself, went to the Santa Cruz Auditorium one by myself, and one more by myself, I remember. But I was sitting in the back like, I don't give a fuck. I don't have direction to get home. I don't have fucking GPS at this time. It was uh -huh. like 2008. I remember I had to fucking call homies on the way home to get myself home, bro. I was so fucking lost from Berkeley. I had no idea how to get back. It took me like three and a half hours. But I don't give a shit. Atmosphere is my, my, is my favorite group. Mm -hmm. So, Atmosphere's booked, all right? They were booked for a couple days ago. Then, as real quick recap, Manager hit us up and go, hey, we realized we booked him the same day as the show. He could not be talking on an interview the day before the show for his voice. We're like, oh, my God, no. I mean, it's okay. I'm just juiced. Then, what, two days later, he goes, hey, Slug would like to invite you and Marty out to the show. He said the show is going to be awesome. Or and the podcast is awesome. Can't wait to come on the show when they come back to L.A. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> and he says, by the way, here's some tickets. Come to the show. Let's go. So this fool, my favorite artist in the all time, left his fucking tickets at the box office and I damn near shed a fucking tear. So that's why we went to the Atmosphere show the other day. And I, I don't know if I filmed anything. I just stared the whole time like, yeah, this is some shit. Fuck yeah. It was awesome. We all went on as like a big ass group. It was great. Yeah. Because the last, the only times I ever seen was live band and they play, they play more like alternative the songs i mean a lot of the songs they play but they play with a live band and shit i love the hip-hop shit from them so when i saw him come out with ant slug and then they had another dj there i'm like this is a hip-hop show oh my fucking god dude I, I i was so juiced i was so juiced and then what happened yo if you listen to underground you're gonna be hyped as we're leaving my homies like hey grouch is right there I go shut the fuck up Grouch is from the Living Legends, a fucking amazing ass rapper. And I saw him, I go, oh my God, it is fucking. The only time I ever saw him in person, I was 15. And he walked by the catalyst and I was like, oh, holy shit. I like lost my fucking, here I am in my 30s, mm -hmm. same thing. Oh shit, the crowd. I just, I got a picture with Damn, him this time who though. Put you on to all this shit. Like, Jeebus. He put me on the Living yeah. Legends. Oh, my friend Jeebus, I remember I looked at his wall and there was a group, a poster of so many artists. I go, what is Living Legends? He goes, dude, they're a group of artists, all this shit. Another quick story. Living Legends got nine motherfuckers in it, I think, or seven. 
Sunspot Jones and Lucky I Am, they came to Merced one time. Quick story. I don't think I ever told the story. They came to Merced, went to a little bar, could fit about 30 fools in there, and they rocked the shit out of it, right? I'm strong. We know that. I can bench a lot for being fat and out of shape. I was rocked out back then. I was in shape when I was like 19. I was pretty fucking ripped still. Like I was big. The reason I say this, Sunspot, lucky I am, playing their show. Sunspot Jones is on stage and he's crouching on the little stage. That's how small this venue is. He's like almost crouching because he's not tall enough to stand on the stage. He's singing his song. I'm like every fucking word. I'm all hyped. And he sees me and I see him see me. It's a small crowd. He's doing it. He just looks at me. And he just does one of these. And I just finished the whole verse. So oh, shut shit. up. Oh, no. Like, like one bar of it. I was doing and, and then he joined in. And he was just like, fuck. He was like slapping my shoulder. And I remember he got back up and started singing. And all my homies like were like, this is the greatest fucking night of our life. Because we're all fans, bro. We're fans of the underground. Then Sunspot Jones decided to stage dive. And crushed like three people. He stove and crushed this girl and two dudes. They could not hold him up. <laughs> then you heard Lucky start cackling, laughing while he was doing his verse. Like, oh, shit, this fool's on the ground. He gets back up. He's like, fuck, man. Damn. <laughs> and then he starts rapping his verse. And then like 20 minutes later, the reason I brought up the strong thing, this motherfucker stage dives right at me. Like <laughs> hip out, though, not flat. Hip out. I fucking... Caught him on my chest, Marty, like this. Full Fridge. grown man. And Anthony's next to me like that. <laughs> and the stage is only right here. And I go like this. Ugh! And I like throw him straight. And he does this. What the fuck? And looks back <laughs> down at me. And then all my homies are looking at me like, Thomas, you're the fucking man. Like I single-handedly caught the whole Damn. body of this man. Ugh! And I just like stood him back up. And I thought, like, bro, you got to be careful stage diving. What if I couldn't take it? <laughs> like, you're folding in half. He's what if I'm dead? Scorpioning. Uh, I'm all hyped up and sweating right now thinking about that shit, dude. Every time I tell stories, they get me hyped. I actually physically start getting uh, yeah. hot and sweaty, sweating, dude. And shit, yeah. Anyway, stage diving is a fucking risk. Yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> Ask Omar Ratchet Man when he killed those kids in Idaho. <laughs> he landed on four bodies. Um, sorry. That's true. Was sick. How would you describe atmosphere as music to somebody that doesn't? I was know? trying to describe it to you. Mm -hmm. You were actually really it's interesting. Well, you described their like fan, fan base. base. I was like, yeah. oh, it's like this. No, it's not like that. It's stronger. No, it's like it's like this artist. No, the atmosphere's fan cult. base is more cult. And I went us. Yeah, <laughs> our fans. Like yo, everyone's just happy to be here. And smiling. I've never felt that type of energy at any sort at the of concert. Show? The, how enthusiastically they were singing all the bars, like at, like really meaning it. All, like the vast majority of the people in there, it was just different. Oh, Everybody man. wasn't all cool. Like they were, it was different. I've never seen it. I, I don't know. It was like so different than a regular rap show. That's so sick. But Homeboy's like 50, he, like 51. Yeah. Two. Out there crushing it. Crushing it, huh? So stoked. I'm so happy. I'm so excited that they're coming. So it's postponed, and their next L.A. cycle is in January. So let's just say this, guys. We got atmosphere coming on this fucking show. Do you feel like you know a lot about his life? Only through the lyrics. Like, do you like already, I probably know all the words to all the albums I have. Do you already know what I'm going to ask? Yeah. No. Interesting. A lot of the things I, I, the reason is he's born on September 7th. I'm born on September 6th. A lot of the shit he says, I go, I relate to this so heavily. And I found his birthday. I go, oh, maybe it's because we're like kind of the same date. Is that why I think the same? Some of the lyrics I, he's, the, this motherfucker says, I go, bro, yep, dead on. That's how I feel too. Mm -hmm. And you know, when you connect with them, like when right now I might say something, yeah, me too, man. Same thing. Same thing. The same thing. It's like a connection of, yeah, fuck with you. That's what I realized when I put out the CD, CD, when I put out Massive Action. Like, Hold up. Uh, just went out. I don't know, but it's out. Yeah, it is. Um, was that I'm like, oh, I'm just kind of repurposing the same message that we talk about through the fucking yeah, through, through the music. Through music. Positivity and crushing it. That's my, that's what that's what the whole show's about. Um, 
But while Marty's moving this camera real quick, in January, we'll never have to do that again. We have a team of eight doing the cameras over there at Malcolm Media. Um, guys, I know I'm sweating and I'm dying over here, but I'm excited. My favorite fucking artist, guys. You guys know that. I you, And if you know me personally, I, you're going to text me go, Thomas, what the fuck? I remember going to the show. The lyric he has, now all my friends are famous. It's either one thing or another. That shit stuck to me when I was like 18. I go, one day I'm going to do something where my friends are the people I look up to and like people I see in movies and listen to. And it's like, it's so weird what your brain, what happens and what you remember. I remember what I was doing when I said that. Like, you know what? Me too, man. One day my, some of my homies are going to be like famous fools. I'm going to be doing something super sick where I can work with them in some way. And it's this. <laughs> and who would have thought, bro? Who would have thought? Marty, come on, man. Come one day, Adam Sandler is going to be sitting right across from us. He's on the list. Uh, oh, can we? All right. Well, well, we're not saying anything. All right, but working on it. I know, guys. This is a crazy episode. I know. We're working on it right now, Adam Sandler. Holy fucking shit! I almost shed a tear for real when you told me that one. I think it's Dear Evan. <sighs> the one you're going to be hyped. Yeah, so we're going to have Sandler right now, guys. I don't even want to say it, but I guess we're saying it. Yeah. Also, uh, in New York, I'll be there next week, and I'm going to see Adam Sandler live in concert. What a trip. I'm so excited. But yeah, um, all in all, guys, I know we're starting dragging this out again. I'm just very excited. Let's get on to the next topic. But either way, atmosphere is booked. They're coming on this motherfucking show. Thank you. Thank you guys for making that possible. I am so juiced and hyped and excited and stoked. Thank you. Um that's I'm most excited about, honestly. I'm just so fucking stoked, dude. I'm 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 I mean like that's your DMX for me. Like yeah. bro, what I know. who am I in the room it's with right up, now? Are you said, fucking kidding me? We're gonna have to book a uh a, a medium so I, I can Oh my cousin <laughs> my cousin said that. Well my cousin William's a fool. He goes, You know what you should do? Hire a medium so you can have an episode with one of your favorite artists that passed away. I go, stop it. <laughs> Don't do that. Their fucking families are gonna be so upset. Also, how hard would it be like, yo, DM, I need to ask you a question, man. For real, as a fan from a child? Come on. But that that's the dumbest idea. Uh, that's our, the most disrespectful our, shit I've ever heard. We're not really going to do it, guys. But my cousin's like, you should just interview some mediums. Like, nah, bro. It would be amazing if that could be a thing. It would be, it would be amazing. We'd have Tupac. We'd have the sickest episode. Could you imagine? So what's the beef about? 25 years later, we get the answer. Like... Oh man, I'd like to, I'd like to get Dr. Dre on. He's never done a podcast. I don't think I could be wrong. No, nope. I've never seen him. They did an Apple show, Dr. Dre, DJ Pooh, and like I think Angeli or I can't remember. It was oh, yeah, like the Apple show, that. but they were rocking push trees on there. So you ever see that show? No shit. Yeah, DJ Pooh's rocking all of it. No, I had to shit. sign some shit to Apple to say that I'm allowed to that they're allowed to use it. I ever told you that? No. Yeah. So the whatever show that is, yeah, they rock push trees, rocking push trees, just on organically. It. Yeah, bro. I gave him some shit, and I saw. I go, DJ Pooh's a fucking man, dude. I never even asked him to wear. I just gave him some shit, and he yeah. fucking wore it on the show. Then Apple hit me up. This is your logo. Mm-hmm. We found out from a certain person that that needs to contact you for Push Tree Trademark. Blah, blah, blah. Like, wow. Jesus. Yes. Yeah. Use it. I was <laughs> hyped. But on to this next piece of information. Let's get a big. You guys are really excited. I just so I'm excited. That's why I'm all hyped and moving around and shit. You guys ready? The Dope is Yola channel on YouTube. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm sorry. Let me. We got to. This is like. Let's just take a second here. Hold on. First of all, when you walk back in, we heard the. Oh yeah, <laughs> we heard our friend. He's in the warehouse right now. When we went to film right now, I'm like, yo, the cricket's back. It's been a whole season. I haven't heard him. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Here we go. <laughs> Uh, boom! The Dope is Yola channel is now 100% back in the good graces of YouTube and monetized. Who the fuck would have thought we'd ever see this day come? Just out of nowhere. What the fuck? Hold on. Yeah, we got to bring bring that back real quick. What did you the just Dope say? The Dope is Yola channel is a YouTube partner and is monetized. Do we feel like this is related to that Biden tweet? I don't know, but I don't give a shit. Yeah. How ironic. How just You know what this means? 
I'm not a shadow band. They actually show my videos. I was blacklisted bad. Like probably the most. I would say the most. Except, I mean, I've been deleted too. So it's not like, yeah, it's not just everyone else. Like but I've been deleted also. Just as of hours ago, we just premiered basically a, a test video. <laughs> this is so stupid. Yeah, so we put a test video up like, hey guys, just see if YouTube's for real. And guess what? No age restriction. And it was said, do you want to monetize this uh, this video? And I put yes. How long has it been since you've had a non-age restricted video on the Dovazilla channel? They're here and there, but more than one? 2019. Damn. I've been getting my views shit on for over three years. Mm -hmm. Age restriction is not just, oh, they're not showing you. No, it's they killed the views, bro. They crush the fucking views like so bad. And it's not all about the views, but when it comes to the views of us putting in five bands to make a mm -hmm. video and the views are 25,000 views when I have a million subs like, dude, this isn't fair. Two months later, I get 30 comments. I didn't even know you did this. I'm like, I know you didn't. You know how many people DM me like, bro, I haven't seen you post in months. I'm like, bro, I post every fucking week the same time. Mm -hmm. You just don't know. And. It wasn't all just so easy though. <laughs> like your shit was glitching while they were like. So this I didn't morning, know what to think. No, this as I was going to sleep, somebody goes, "All your videos are gone." I went on YouTube and all my videos were gone. But when I logged in, they're all there. And then when I refreshed, they popped up. When I refreshed again, they were gone. And I had about seven hundred messages when I woke up this morning, Ooh. saying, "Dude, are you serious? No, no." And I went. <gasps> No, did they take? They deleted the channel after they monetized uh, me. They like they would do that <laughs> bullshit. That's what I was thinking. And I looked and go, no, 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 it's just a glitch. And as of about an hour ago, we're back. <laughs> but psychological. Work. Oh, it scared me. <laughs> it definitely scared me to death. I didn't even tell you my original Instagram. My guy hit me up. He recovered it. He's in. Just can't get it to be unlocked. But my original Instagram. Is oh. recovered. Original one. The first one that had all my first works of art, nug toy pictures, all the dope. That channel, and that was one with all the famous ass fools were following it. Did you lose all those images you made? Yeah, because I, I never backed up my phone. I was a drug dealer. So like how many? Like, I just had a fucking phone. How many are we talking? Like a hundred, like. What? Of your graphics and shit that you made that were lost. Every, oh, 75%. Like so many. Damn. I have a lot of them, but they're screenshotted from Tumblr because someone made a fake Tumblr account and posted all my content. Mm. So I got my content back. <laughs> so it was, it was all right. Um, so yeah. So, sorry. Dope is Yola channel is officially on the YouTube partner program. I cannot believe it. Now, how does this affect you going into how you make your videos? I don't care about making money. So I'll just turn the monetization off. All I care about is when you're on monetization program, they don't restrict you as much. Mm -hmm. They don't flag you every second. It's definitely not about the monetization itself. I don't care about the money at all. You're so far, there's nobody more far in the red on a channel. No. <laughs> like 20 bands a month red on that like, show. <laughs> it's, and that's, that's like an investment in other ways, but still. Yeah. Nobody, not a lot of people are willing to do that. I just did the math in my head right now. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that Dude. Yola channel gets money, gets time, gets treated as if it is not. <gasps> oh my training. god! I didn't even put in editing, t editing money in my head. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, and I mean, you're going out traveling and all that. Yeah, I mean. It's a lot. We had the set, though. Oh, God. I didn't even think about the lights and the sets and everything. I was just talking about the time. Yeah. It's all a write-off for a young entrepreneur, but still, you got to, you are fronting that cost. Like, it pays off in other ways because- Yes, thank you for saying that because it does. Fuck. Well, that was making me so sad right now thinking about, oh, my God, yeah, how much money do I spend a month on this? I don't make no money. Oh. That investment sprouted off the podcast. It brought about the dopest. Exactly. And like, I sell more shirts when I make a video. That's why I always replaced it brand with brand deals. But it's like, 
probably make it's breaking the, even. It's the tough road to doing it. You're probably breaking <laughs> even. I have seven companies because three don't make any profit because <laughs> I push it right back into it. But trees, like I make more clothes. Dope as Yola, <laughs> pay me somehow, please. Mm -hmm. Thank you. That'd be sick. Um, could you imagine they back paid me? That's yeah, what I was thinking I the other imagined. day. I was thinking the other it day. It's so amazing and so if they just. they really did back pay me. But they actually wow. wiped that clean on the dash, didn't they? Yeah, when I went into the monetization <laughs> bank. You got a fresh start. Zero <laughs> dot dot zero zero. Also, money sign in front of this. Fred had mentioned that. US, there was not USD. a dollar. USD. Not a dollar. And I went. I was as I pressed my password. I went. I haven't pressed this in years. And press enter. And went. Uh -huh. I hope I open my eyes and there's eight fucking figures right there. Zeros. Oh shit. I was like, you know, it's okay. It's wow. okay. How many times in life do you have that moment? Uh, true. <laughs> true. Like, legitimately, it could. It could there could have been a scenario. Odd where, number of eight yeah. figures. Like, thanks. Three what? <laughs> oh I only three almost three something. Three point something million dollars. I never got. Mm -hmm. But it's okay. Who cares? We're here. <laughs> <laughs> you the ground. No, it's okay. We're here. That money is gonna go. Someone needed it more than me, I guess. Fucking dicks. But it's okay. I don't give a shit because if I cared, I would die. I would fucking die from frustration. Well, you're gonna go down in the history books of that shit. That's what happens. To all the It'll come back. It'll come back to times a yeah. hundred. YouTube. I'm calling it now. When this gets better, YouTube's gonna partner with me in a very big way, and I'm gonna make some fucking money off mm -hmm. of it. I, I. Promise, it's gonna be double digit million dollars. I maybe even triple. Manifestation is real. I know this is coming. I just don't know in which way. Maybe when we goes federally legal and I run YouTube cannabis corporate section, the advi the cultural advisor, advi cultural like advisor. how Wallow is YouTube's music cultural advisor. Cannabis, fucking crush it. Oh, Cr shout out Wallow, here. by the way. I didn't tell you this, but Beverly Hills TEDx is booked. And oh, boy, shit. Win, 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 win. Date, the date isn't out yet, but he told me. Marty's doing a TED Talk, Rocco. Yeah. That, Wallow linked that. Yeah, Marty's doing a fuck. Put the fucking horns <laughs> yeah. on. Yeah, I mean. Come on, guys. Yeah, already, that just reminded me of it. I just found that out earlier. Today? They asked me to go and do one in Miami, and I'm like, bro, you got one in SoCal? He's like, bro, you got one? <laughs> We actually are just finalizing Beverly Hills, so I was like, "Let's let's do it." I got a, <coughs> I wanted to move on to that after I did the music, and just so I had enough brain space to like write my topic out. And now all I need in life is to, somebody to put a date on something, and it's like, all right, I'll get it done. Yep. So once they tell me the date, then I'll then I'll do what I got to do. But that was like a. A thing that Wallow did, how, like he put up a video how this free engagement made me a million dollars about how he did his TEDx talk. And then from there, he got so many like public speaking engagements in that following year. He made over a million dollars. But it's not about that to me. I just value the opportunity so much. I know you get paid to public speak. Holy shit. Oh, yeah. I'm going to yell at motherfuckers. Pay me. Oh, yeah. You know how <laughs> fucking fun. Yeah. We want to build that in to the podcast tour. Oh, the podcast tour is going to start shit. off with fucking 10 to 15 minutes of stand up. <laughs> <laughs> this tour is going to be me open mic in it. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're trying to think of some theatrics and shit. Bro, it's booked. I mean, it's ready. It's They're picking out the theater, but it's going to be in Beverly Hills. They have the name for it and stuff. So, Marty, holy shit. You better wear a suit. Not for real, but you better look dope. I can see it now. Uh, I'm probably gonna come oh, with the film the shit out of that. I know, I know. I'm just kidding. I'm probably gonna wear a, a bill shirt. <laughs> so first starts off. How about them bills? Yeah. How about them fucking bills? You probably already know VPNs are great for protecting your privacy and security online by hiding your IP address. NordVPN just introduced a brand new feature to the desktop apps that provides threat protection, takes your whole digital security to a brand new level. And it's gonna protect you from malware, cyber attackers. Fishers, schemers, scammers, spammers, you name it, 
NordVPN app is protecting you even if you aren't connected to a VPN server. You ever wake up and go, hey, where's the Niner game? Oh, they're playing in Buffalo. So basically switch your virtual location with NordVPN. It allows you to watch the sporting games that you wouldn't be able to watch if you were in, say, the West Coast. NordVPN also enables its users to watch Netflix categories that are available outside of their country. NordVPN is the fastest VPN on the planet. No buffering, no lagging while you're streaming trying to watch something. NordVPN is the price of one cup of coffee per month and can be used on up to six different devices. Right now, go to nordvpn.com forward slash YOLA. That's our code, YOLA. Use that code and you're going to get a huge discount off your plan and all above all, four months for free. Right off the bat, four months for free with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Yo, what's up, guys? Thank you so much for watching this episode. And we just want to take a quick moment to talk about one of our sponsors, and this is ShipStation. Right now, if you go to ShipStation.com and use our promo code, dope as usual, you're going to get 60 day free trial. You guys know Marty and I, we're both small business owners. This is what we've been doing our whole adult lives, essentially. Since I moved to LA, Push Trees has been with ShipStation nonstop, 100% every single day. It couldn't be easier. Rosie and I have had so many headaches before we started. From start to finish, from the moment the customer presses click to buy something to the time it gets to you to print to ship, Everything is done from ShipStation. Etsy, Amazon, eBay, Shopify, all of that is perfectly integrated. Black Friday is next month, guys. Get ready. If you're a small business owner, this is the lifeblood, the foundation of your whole fourth quarter is this right here. Any company in history that's ever used ShipStation for more than a year has never left. Lifelong customers have not gone anywhere, 98%. And that's over 130,000 different companies. I met a lot of you that do small businesses. They always ask for advice. ShipStation is the thing that's helped Rosie and I with Push Trees since 2015. For me, e-commerce was confusing this ship station made it very easy remember dope as usual at checkout the promo code and that's 60 days for free thank you so much for watching and shout out to ship station for sponsoring this episode i was just gonna <coughs> say if you want to see freddie gibbs on the motherfucking podcast oh, please tag that fool oh boy that we're gonna start doing that you want to see a certain person well you know if we want to see a certain person on the show <laughs> malcolm's already reached out to freddie gibbs but you know freddie gibbs one of our favorite artists this this fool's so hard and funny as shit and that's what i want him on the show for because that motherfucker is hysterical i notice he's doing like zany's comedy <laughs> like i don't know if he's doing stand-up <laughs> he could do stand-up bro he's funny man hold on <laughs> he's funny dude uh but yeah go tag freddie gibbs but yo we want to see on the dope as usual podcast how that happened that's how we got stilo on here guys that wasn't a malcolm media thing that was you a lot you of guys times. did that. A lot of guys. Seventy percent so far has been because you guys tag them, ask them, say, "Hey, come check out the show," and they check it out and go, "Oh, I like it," and then they come on the show. So thank you. So Isn't amazing. that crazy? So, it's Isn't that a, crazy? A little cycle of a community. We Tell have YouTube here. to pay me. Back pay me. <laughs> <laughs> guys, tag Yo, YouTube. <laughs> I swear to God, if YouTube back pay me because you guys, I will give every one of you a dollar. Mm. Yeah. You can do that. I'll give every one of you two dollars. Every Frame subscriber, give me two bucks. I don't signed. Care. Not even a dent. Gotta sign a million dollar bills. <laughs> no, that's Sorry. a stamper. Yeah, I'm not gonna sign a million things. I signed four hundred at the end of anything. My Brutal. arm, I felt hurt, bad, bro. And I print. Yeah, slowly, slowly. <laughs> so I'm like, oh. would you guys be mad if you just did a quick Yola? I don't suffice? know how to do it. I'm saying I could show you one line. Well, I was thinking about taking a class. Yeah. Literally one three-hour class, like penmanship. Like, can you show me? That's right there right? on YouTube. I've been following some sick people I don't, on I YouTube. Don't, I don't learn that, that good like that. Mm -hmm. You should have, have somebody come on and teach you. Josh Wilson is on a draw. <laughs> <laughs> portrait artist. What are you talking about? He's more of a portrait artist than anything, I would say. Yeah. It's like, Immaculate portrait artist. Here we go. Guys, speaking of Josh Wolf, I'm just going to say this right now. Don't remember 90% of the episode. While I didn't tell you this, while I was watching it, your brain is strong. Yeah. While I was watching me start losing my mind on camera and I could feel it, I started feeling it at home when I was on the typing, when I was typing. I started Ooh. feeling that head space again. And I went, whoa, the brain is so strong. All I did was think about how deep I was in it. And watching myself, and I felt started getting the bad trip again at home. Oh no! Isn't that crazy? Like a week after? Yes, <laughs> it was weird, dude. Describe to us what you were, what was going on. Yo, I did not think that was going to be that strong. Me and Josh eat mushrooms on the podcast. It happens. These were different. They were so different. 
I didn't know you. I didn't know Marty ate them until Josh was driving, or when Jake was driving Josh. And I went, Marty, so thank you so much for not tripping and oh, holding together. You go, I'm fucking tripping right now. I go, what? <laughs> I didn't know because another thing, my back, that disc in my back really was hurting that day. So if you notice, I barely turned toward Marty because I didn't want to move my yeah, hip. Yeah, we were sitting next to each other. Yeah, I didn't want to move my hip. That was weird. So the whole time I kept thinking about how bad my back hurt. Yeah, like the horrible. trip, I could see like my muscles, like how they were knotted. And how they were, I could Shooting see pain, it. Like yeah, a, like a commercial. Yeah. Where's the pain? Yeah, I was just thinking. Here? About, yeah. Red? That's how I felt. <laughs> mm-hmm. So during the podcast, you could kind of see me like this. Because I'm trying to keep my weight off my fucking mm-hmm. back and hip. Because yeah. it, it was, it hurts so bad, dude. And all I could focus on was it. And I'm trying to hold conversation and laugh. Like, <gasps> yeah. Like every breath was like. It was, a, it was like my sciatica and my hip, so it's like shooting pain every time I moves. So I was trying to stay still, but like be part of the show. And then the bad trip hit. Then when I closed my eyes, I started seeing shooting quick patterns in and out. <sighs> Rolling like pattern. Like, like I couldn't hold it together. When I opened my eyes, I was okay. But then I started just, my head just talking about stuff that wasn't going on. Time is all over the place. Time was everywhere. And then Josh was talking like, are you talking slow? He was talking slow. And I thought it was me. I'm like, yeah. dude, am I? And I started melting. And then I started feeling the, oh, I wish you should go away. And as soon as I said that, I knew it was going to be bad. Because I I need to part, be kind of part of the conversation. I need to be part of the show. We're on the show. And I'm over <laughs> here not even giving a fuck. And I went, that's not good. Not good, bro. I wish these were gone. And when we were gone, I went, oh. Bad yeah. trip. And I started just like thinking, fuck, dude, what did I just talk about? Did I even bring it up? Am I doing a bad job? Right that, now? that was the worst feeling of all time. <laughs> I wasn't tripping anywhere near. I First of all, I should have never did that because I was just like irresponsible like as the producer. No, <laughs> what the fuck? Like, you only ate a half. Yeah, and it was spur of the moment. I did not plan on doing it. The shit just looks so delicious. It I'm really like, was good, though. When I looked at the chew, I'm like, oh, this is cute. I'll waste half this oh, thing this and eat cute. this fucking thing. Because not like I'll even feel it. Guys, it took, I, was eat, I had the fucking supplement vitamin looking pills. They wouldn't work. It took so much to get them to work. So I'm like, I'll eat this just as a little piece of candy. Damn near as soon as I ate it. Dude, I it felt tell. like minutes later. And I was like, the cameras were already set up. I kind of ate it walking back to the table on my final check through. But it made me right away. I'm like feeling paranoid. Like, oh, man, the cameras aren't running. Fuck. Hope the camera. Like, I had to get up and check the cameras earlier. But then it could just kind of turn into like my eyes on full fish eye. And just having that weird disconnect from the normal. Like, yep. You're, you're hosting. Disconnect. Be a host. Be a host. Be a host. You're <laughs> hosting. Why aren't you talking? Why aren't you talking? Are you even centered? Is Josh talking? Did you even talk about his show? Are we even promoting his show right? Are you fucking up? Thank God Marty's here. That's what my brain kept doing. <laughs> Me too. Basically, I was just like, I felt like I just keep your hands on the wheel. Be a host. And then, but my perception watching the show back Perfect. It was fine. It was fucking fine. Nothing in my Nothing head was, that was going out nope, was going exactly. out. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing happened. Fucking awesome. As I was watching, I was laughing. <laughs> oh, after though, when I went home, yeah. they hit me even harder. So they went away for a couple minutes and then came back so strong. I was up to about 530 in the morning. I was staring at my ceiling for maybe three and a half hours. Had the most intense trip. It, it was just as intense. Here's my seven gram trips where I'm astral projecting, whatever. I'm right here, but more inside my brain. Not you wanted visual. that seven gram trip though. You didn't know what the fuck. You didn't. I didn't know that. Uh-uh. I felt so bad watching you back eat that second one. And um, remember how many gummies I ate before though. Yeah, I ate all those fucking shroom gummies. Like these are fine. I only have four or five of them. And I went, how much are they? Half gram. <gasps> Josh doesn't oh, normally oh, no. come with this shit. No, these ones are new. And as I'm in my bed tripping. I'm like, Josh, like three times he went. And then I got him from my buddy. Well, I don't know if I should say his name. And uh-huh. I kept saying, who did he get these from? Because I, oh, bro, I'm telling you the visuals and the shit that I was having at my in my room. Mm-hmm. I did a complete mind erase restart. Like I needed it bad. I needed to restart my head. 
And I was like, you're going to do this, this, and this, and this. When you wake up, you're going to have some bomb-ass news. What the fuck happened the next one we can't talk about yet? What the fuck? Biggest shit that's ever happened on the show. Ridiculous. <sighs> By far. <sighs> this is true. This is fucking facts. Two minutes later, remonetized. Yeah. Damn. Hop on my computer is remonetized. Were you able to get into a space where it was at least comfortable, like once you got home and just weren't having to the be The second on I got home, tell me this, blankets that aren't that thick and backlighting, it's another world. I put the blanket over my head and mm. pushed it out. You know when you like make it tight with your feet and yeah. hold it so there's some space? Uh-huh. I sat like that for like two and a half hours looking at shit. I don't want to get too into it, <laughs> but... No, I'll talk about yeah. it. It's fine. It's not so much that I could see. It's like they were saying slightly evil shit. Like, why do you care about if you hurt someone? Do whatever the fuck you want. And I was like, what the fuck? I couldn't see it, but I could feel something right here. Like thoughts? You could but a, but a thing. Perceive it? Oh, okay. But like in like the I could actual see the faces room. coming out of my, be- my blanket. Damn. Like your God shirt. Damn. Like your shirt, but then they would move together and make a face of something. Mm-hmm. Like the fabrics of my blanket. Oh, I was like, I gotcha. oh, and I would look oh, away shit. like, what the fuck? And then as it's talking to me, and I was like, you have no idea who you're talking to, bro. I'm not selling out for shit. <laughs> Good try, motherfucker. And then Rosie walked in the room. Damn. They were like saying, you should do this and do that. And I'm like, fuck you. But I was talking to them without t- moving my mouth. Yeah, you're. I was tripping my balls off, basically. I was fucked. They had, like, swindly, greasy energy? <coughs> yes. <laughs> That's yes. One was a girl, mm-hmm. but it wasn't, like, a gender. I just felt that it was a woman. Mm-hmm. I've never had these feelings mm-hmm. on mushrooms and tripping. It's was like these ones were so vivid and deep that it like brought me to a different part of this fucking evil shit that I've never experienced. And like, it wasn't that it was evil. It was more like, be selfish. It was like throwing things out like, do whatever you want. Fuck people. Who cares if you hurt someone's feelings? Fuck that company. Make more money. I'm like, what the fuck? A lot of you? people actually think like that. Yeah. And then as it was saying, I was, and I was talking to him like, do you realize who the fuck you're talking to? Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. And everyone's like, get the fuck out of here. Told Rosie the whole thing. She had a bad trip when it was with OG and shit. She told me she was having a bad trip, but we never talked about like what was going on. The same exact thing was talking to her, saying the same shit. When I was saying shit, what did it say? I go, she goes, what the fuck? That's what was talking to me. Like It was like four months ago. Whenever you're trying to pull some bullshit, it's not going to work. We're out there doing some weird swindling spiritual shit. Whatever it is, I don't know if it's real or not. You're in another dimension listening right now. Yeah, if you're in another dimension watching this shit, first off, like the video, dick. Second off, that bell, bitch. not going to work, bro. I was broke and poor. Did the trip Way change worse. once? Yes, like, they were all fucking great. And I, after that, I was like, fuck that shit. I'm going to work harder. I'm going to do more. I'm going to do this. So maybe that I'm was the trip that. setting itself up to do get you to do that. Maybe, dude. Because right after that, so I took the blanket off my head and went, fuck this. Rosie came down. We watched Peaky Blinders. And I'm sitting there like, this is the most intense show I've ever seen in my fucking life. And I'm tripping. Ooh, and they're talking about the... the uh, no, the, 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 the episode it was was like a war battle murder shit. And I'm like that. Like In my head, I'm like, fuck, we're getting ready to go kill my like in my head I'm like this is the most intense show but in my head I'm like separating it from me I'm like I know I'm not there yeah this is just true you can tap in what it would feel like to be there <sighs> oh yeah almost like I could smell the bar they're in man I was tripping mm-hmm. and as I'm sitting there I'm like I can't wait to make my cult classic movie it's gonna happen and I'm sitting there thinking like, I can't wait to walk out on like the Tonight Show. Hey, thanks for having me. Yeah, <laughs> you smell good. I'm like, oh, sorry. And that's going to be the first thing I say. I'm like, oh, God, I can't wait. And I was just thinking of all these things like, cool. I'm just going to work harder. Fuck this. Whatever was trying to talk to me. And I remember I remember he went, fuck you. You know who I am? Like, you should pick the wrong person to try to I swindle. I like that feeling. I liked it. I was like, that's how yeah. I felt. Like, get the fuck away yeah. from me. It's so weird that I'm talking about it, but. I talked about it to Rosie. I'm like, Rosie, I don't know. I was telling her about it the next morning. Then I got the text from you. I'm like, what the fuck? 
I don't even think, we'll talk about it another time. And then I was like, Rosie, this is going to be a great day. I'm going to fucking crush shit. It's like, there's some, I don't know what it was, but I think I got tested last night and I fucking won. Mm. Walked out, logged in the computer. You're remonetized. Like, <laughs> I screamed, like, Rosie, get the fuck out here. She's like, what? Why? I'm like, who's monetized? And she's like, shut the fuck up. Shut wow. the fuck up. I look, I go in the back end, $31. I went, there might be podcast fans that don't understand the true significance of the win, the math. It's not about the fact that he is making money on this channel. Yeah, it's the fact that they allowed it. We went through so much. <laughs> Bullshit. Are just fighting against the grain. So just that acknowledgement is just. It's, it's yeah, it's like not even a, the money. Yeah, I just, don't care. Keep it. No, yeah. don't keep it. I don't care. It's. When in actuality, Thanks. I got recommended an unage restricted video yesterday that I can't even say. Say the, the title. title. Don't of. say the title. <laughs> no, I just think it's funny. Don't say the title. <laughs> I had another one. You can bleep it. Bleep it. Okay. It's funny if I says it. It was one man standing behind one man, and there uh -huh. was a blanket in front of the guy in the back, over the guy's butt. But the picture's like this. The guy's you can see he's naked, uh -huh. and there's a towel over his back. And there's a guy standing behind him holding the towel. Bleep this. And it says, real versus can I tell the difference? Nice. On YouTube, yeah. recommended to me. On age restricted. On age restricted. Yeah. Bleep the parts because we will get age restricted for that. Yeah. And that's the point it's that we're trying to make. Porno. That's the only, that's when we whine about YouTube. That's the only point that we're trying to make. Yeah, I was like, like, yo, just be fair. Guys, this is, come on, man. We're just having fun. But it was the Dope is Yellow channel. Sorry, we're on yeah. good graces. Hey, YouTube, thank you so much. Just, we're just saying that title yeah. that I just said where you bleeped. That sounds like a joke. Yeah. That sounds like a, a porn convention joke. Mm hmm. And that's on YouTube recommended to me on my homepage. I lost. Considering shit. how we have to do this whole tiptoe around every title we make for every video and thumbnail my mom's video got age restricted i got to lead off instagram I, all i did was say happy birthday to my mom post a picture of her and i got deleted so anyway we're back in the good grace that's why we're he was saying we're not i'm not trying to complain we're talking about like what a win because i logged in that day and went no way i you can't believe it you didn't like apply for the shit they just no the night before i went and was like <laughs> Let's see what these buttons do. Oh, I click shit. monetization, the button. I went to the thing and it says uneligible. And I went, I know. Yeah. And then I went to the bottom. It says last day to apply something, something 2021. I went, oh, so nothing. Mm -hmm. And I had a transparent bar. It said reapply. I went, yeah, right. And I clicked it and it pressed. I went, <laughs> the transparent bar clicked. I just clicked it out of just curiosity. Like, yeah, right. Mm -hmm. And it went, click, click. Mm. And says, we will reevaluate and get back to you within seven days. Woke up in the morning and was back. Should reapply for that motherfucking plaque. Marty, stop. Don't say that. Marty. I <laughs> know. I'm probably just building you up to fucking let you down. No, with that no, one, no. Bro. You're right. Do they have a million subscriber plaque? Yeah. That's the next one that you get one for. No 500? No. Oh, that's sad. Yeah, I know. That's a big feat. Yeah, from get, 10 to a million? Ten times oh, ten, to 100 to a million? Oh, my God. They got a done. Oh, my God, Marty. Right, if I get that plaque, I'm going to fucking show. Put it right next to the Can't Stop Yola one. The one you made us. <laughs> man. Wow. What? I didn't think about the plaques, man. Can I get my little check mark? It's, you don't have it on the Yola channel? No. Man. No, I don't. They are cannabis -ist. <laughs> yeah, for real YouTube you're about to get you're good you're good though YouTube Just make me the the owner of operations or whatever you want to call for it real. just be like Guys, yo look yeah. at the link let's all bookmark this episode cause yeah but anyway mushroom demons thanks for testing me Ooh. and losing because I won but you feel better the next morning I felt so fucking much better my hair, my head got cleaned out like but, I just got yeah. cleaned out. I got, I'm not gonna talk about everything, but as I'm sitting there going through every aspect of my fucking life, I'm like, all right, where am I lagging? How can I fix this? How can I fix this? All right, boom, oh, boom, all right, boom, all right, boom. So I got a new trainer. I'm like, this trainer is not gonna work. It's not gonna be. It's gonna be a fucking plateau of some bullshit. The trainer I'm about to do is an ex Olympian. He's 60 years old, and he's the most ripped man I've ever seen in my fucking oh, life. Told me about him, that man. guy. Yeah. I'm gonna start training with him. Nice. Yeah, you got it. He is gonna be the one that gets me in fucking. Uh, Mario Lopez shape. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I don't care about being in shape. It's mm -hmm. I'm going to make so much more money mm -hmm. because yeah, a, sure. a, a fucking fat guy is not as marketable. 
you 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 play the fat guy and just yeah just to be but, healthy. Just, I mean a health thing of course, but I'm talking about like now it's different. Like yeah, when it comes to everything, it's like dude, my uh, your clothes will probably sell more if it looked better on you, fat fuck. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like yeah, hey, you're you're fat modeling your clothes. Like hey man, fuck you, it's my company and it works. But it'd be better if I was like, mm-hmm. yo, Thomas, you're in great shape. Good job. And I would like to not be fucking shitty fat. I'd be sick. You know what I mean? Tight. Yeah, like, yeah, that'd be tight. So that's when we get nutrient. I was mm-hmm. thinking all that when I was on mushroom. Like, dude, stop. You have the time. Just get it done. Like, yeah. I always say, like, you cannot be making money and be out of shape because you have to get a trainer. You have to take care of it. And I did. My trainer wasn't great. Like, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. I got stuck in a rut with this guy. It's like anything, though. You go to find, a, you know, a babysitter. You go to find uh, anybody. Like, you got to yeah. test out a couple different yeah. people. But I'm noticing, like, you're not going to get me to where I need. I, I need to get yeah. somebody else. I, 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 at least I'm recognizing it now because before, I'm yeah. like, well, at least I'm going. Like, mm-hmm. For what, motherfucker? To stay the same? It's got to be really valuable with time well spent. I'm about to, I'm, I just switched around get my your days back. routine. Well, I just did. Oh, did? Because I got my kid a bus pass. I've been doing this. Ooh. Uh, Ariana. <clears throat> oh. yeah. So man, I've been doing this epic this one hour drive every taxi morning. Driver, dude. One kid at one school, one kid at another school, another kid at another school. So now sports. the ones going to the yeah plus sports, all of them. Uh, one of them is going right to the bus stop, and then the gym's right next to it. So yeah, I feel I feel the same way. The mushroom trip didn't give me any of that, but I still I have the feeling of like, man, we got this opportunity. We got to be the best you can be. Yes, that's 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 another thing. Like. Why not? You got to just step it up. I've done it before in life. You got to just, but this time it's got to just be forever. Like, yeah, I'll be, this is just the change. Yeah. So expect that for me. Yeah. I'm, Cause right now is the first time I didn't clean my house. I haven't cleaned my house yet. I have mm. a fucking housekeeper that comes in because I'm like, yo, while she's doing that, I'm hitting all my fucking emails. I'm filming. I'm coming back. My house is spotless. Rosie was having surgery. Like I don't want yeah. her fucking doing shit. I don't have the time. I came back. Like I just it's delegated something. Yeah. Because never in my life, I mean, I was trying to help her do shit. And I felt so like, do you help? Like, wait, Thomas, just chill the fuck out. Don't feel bad. Because I feel bad. Like, hey, can you clean my stuff? Like, it's What a different. piece of shit. No. That's how I always felt until I went, I have 23 hours of work today. Yeah. You cannot fucking clean the house today. And I, I have OCD shit, so I hate having dirty shit. Yeah. But when I moved to <laughs> Rosie does. Rosie is not the not she's the opposite. Mm-hmm. When I, I I cleaned Rosie's room when I started dating her, I go, Hey, can I just go organize your fucking room? I <laughs> hate it. It was a typical girl's fashion room. There's clothes yeah. everywhere. But you see our closet? That's yeah, that's how so I want my life. Like I need it to be fucking organized. Yeah. Walk in, done. Mm-hmm. American psycho. Yeah. That's how I want to live my life. Mm-hmm. Minus killing bitches. Yeah. Like I feel I that. don't want to just kill people. <laughs> yeah. Just want to chill. <laughs> but like wake up every morning and I do 1600 crunch like uh-huh. motherfucker I need that motivation yeah. let me just add in and then halfway through I take two dabs and come back like <laughs> perfect yeah. like I'm at the level of, of the, of the, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm at the time of my life where I'm like dude it's constantly upping your shit yeah. getting fucking better and making everything better because I'm tired of like oh you want to go do this cool but bro you're still out of shape what the fuck are you doing I, I think about this shit every day. So I know my like, come on, Tom. I'm like, come on, man. fuck you, man. I'm harder on myself, all right? So I'm trying. So Having that's something on your conscience. Is just it's the, the worst, worst thing, especially when I keep putting this shit off. But now it's like, I have the time now. I mean, I don't have the time, but I'll make the time now. That's it. I, I, thanks for the mushrooms, Josh. All right? Mm-hmm. Thank you. That shit yeah. really, really worked. Like, mm. it like one of the fan questions was, uh, what advice to your 18 year old self? Don't put shit off. Like, because yes. it transfers over to bills, debt. Like, it's a just, habit forming thing. And for me, like coming out of high school, I was so disciplined through basketball, so violently disciplined that I, once I hit 20 and started smoking weed and shit, I was like, oh, I earned a couple of years of fucking just letting go of it. Don't do it. Like, Embrace that's that don't discipline. Smoke. That's not what we're saying. Yeah, no. If you're gonna do that, do that. But don't don't feel like it's okay to let go of certain disciplines because your life will fucking your subconscious that nagging will never stop, and you want to avoid that. If you don't have that nagging, who you know who's gonna nag for you? And when it's not a nagging, when you're checking all the boxes and doing what you need to do, it's a boosting voice. It's a like now you can relax because you earned it. Voice. 
I'm day four, waking up, stretching, <laughs> drinking water, making uh, my fucking bed every fucking morning, right when I wake up. Make the bed, I chug water, I stretch. Uh -huh. Never have I done that before. Mm. And I was like, you know what? Fuck it, I'm going to start today. Tomorrow will be day four. Yeah. Fuck, I didn't stretch this morning. Where, if, I know for oh, me, no, I, did. Like, I did. I'm a creature of routine in a good I'm way not. and a bad way. I'm not. I need structure. I can build the structure, but if you fought, if it, I let something slip out of it, it will remain out of it. It can uh, like put myself in a position to have to dig out of a hole for it in various different ways in life. Marty, you text me at 10, like, yo, video's done. And I'm like, yo, what's up? He goes, nothing, been up since six. I'm like, fuck! That doesn't, that's, God! That I, doesn't, I'm saying like, it, your routine, you know what you're doing. Yeah. You get up, you get your kids yeah. ready, you drop them, you come back, you know, you start work, you do this. Marty, I wake up every day like this. You don't know what's gonna happen. <laughs> that's how it is. I'm like, oh, film day? Yeah. What do I do until then? I don't know. I don't have a structure. So I started doing this. I said, like, I'm going to wake up and drink water and make the fucking bed. Every time I walk in and see the bed, go, I go, good shit, motherfucker. Mm -hmm. And it's that simple. It's little wins. Like, little, get like 40 exactly. of them a day. Come on, man. When you see those discipline ass fools on TV, go, I could do that. Just be that. That's how I'm trying to think of it. Like, yep. David Goggins was a fat fuck, too. Mm -hmm. He's not anymore. Yep. So I've, it's not impossible. I've seen this shit. Yeah. It's 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 more of just like life, and I always say like oh, I'm gonna make more money, buff. I, I'm just it's it's a f I'm kidding, but I'm also not kidding. That shit will help. I'm not kidding. It's more of like, bro, I'm fucking over this shit. And uh, you're not fat, but you're you're definitely not like no. I want to be in shape like I was doing kickboxing and shit yeah. with everybody. Even if you're not, you're skinny dude. Like no, I want to be rock the fuck out. Like it's not it's a, for yourself. It's not so I can look in the mirror and shit, so I can go to sleep. So like. All right, man, you're, you're shit, good yeah. shit. Like, you're yeah. fucking upping it. Because, like, in a video game, and you can go up your character's attributes, don't tell me you never do. You always up the attributes. That's how I feel. Like, mm -hmm. why aren't I doing it to myself, man? If this is GTA, I'm doing everything you but. Could do you could easily do it. Yeah, that's well, how I feel. Like, minutes. what the fuck, yeah. 40 <laughs> no. And I see these fools bench, I'm like, dude, I want to be able to bench four. I'll bench three again. Mm -hmm. Just be like, yeah, nothing, like. Why not? When I tried to bench 240 the other day and I went, ah! I was so disappointed in my fucking body and myself. Like, bro, what? I know it's a lot of weight, but for me, mm -hmm. that's reps. The 16 year old me would, I always say that. I ask this on TikTok and I'm asking you guys, leave it in the comments. Right now, would your 16 year old self beat the shit out of your current self? Fuck no. Oh, you think you could fuck your 16 year old Ooh. self up now? Oh. Bro. Oh, Marty's the only one on the earth. <laughs> I didn't know how to kickbox them. Oh, uh, I'm talking about shape wise. Do you think your 16 year old shuffle? All beat I could the shit do, I could you? run forever from you. Like I was like, same, oh. but I was strong. <laughs> yeah. No, my right, 16 no, year old me would was, beat the dog shit out of me right now. I know way more now than I did then. I'm oh, I'm not talking about skills. Yeah, I'm talking about pure physical attribute do you think like yeah yeah the, man, my six-year-old self was a little bitch like mine wasn't yeah it was a beast mm -hmm. so that's why i ask people like do you think your six-year-old version would fuck you up like, yeah like then you need to get in the fucking gym that's how i feel like then you need to work out that's how i've been feeling dude it sucks i had heart but i was frail <laughs> i had heart but i was frail that's the name of my first stand-up i had heart but i was frail sorry mom please stop yeah no, I got old man strength now. That's different, yeah. though. That's different. Mm. Old man strength, I won't get that shit till I'm old. Like 60. <laughs> I, I got it. Like. Once I hit that third kid, you get it. <laughs> <laughs> it pings in. <laughs> Everyone out there, all the younger dudes, don't try to fight a four-year-old man. You get your ass beat. For some reason, our bones solidify once we get like past 30. Mm -hmm. You just get... <laughs> It's just something kicks in that it's like nature <laughs> wouldn't allow that. Old man strength, yeah. Yeah. It's true. It's real. Old men are scary. Mm -hmm. Fucking kill you with their hands. I've had those moments. <coughs> I've died by an old man a few times <laughs> at Buffalo when I was a kid. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <coughs> Sorry, I'm drinking some water. By the way, go listen to David Goggins. We mentioned David Goggins, Buffalo native. Go listen to Can't Hurt Me. Is he a Buffalo native? Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. I didn't know that until I was an adult. I wish I would have known that shit. I did not know that, dude. Yeah. My uh, first Audible book I ever listened to, my favorite audio book. They did it like a podcast. Him and his, it's his life story, how he became the toughest man alive. 
and his the dude that like wrote it for him his co-author they did it just like this like the, you did the podcast exactly thing? that popped yeah. up in my shit the other day what did my fucking youtube oh oh the uh you, videos off yeah it? yeah that shit was weak this shit was weak. <laughs> You're I, a jerk. I could do so. I could do such a better one now. Oh, that, for sure, for sure. Yeah, I'm thinking about making an online course, dude. Put yeah. it out with Malka. Yeah. Uh, video, photo, brand design. For you know when you're hot. You know what I mean. YouTubers, oh, you lighting the shit with the new pen. I right, really new pens for on deck. New pens. New generation. But it's not a lighter, okay? It's not a fucking <laughs> lighter. I really did try to light that right now with this. Um, dude, we're we're way off track today. <laughs> we try to keep it tight. Not happening. Are you ready? How, we were yeah. talking about Josh Wolf. I yeah, was way yeah. too fucked up. Then the mushrooms oh, brought it yeah. out of me. And now I'm I was fucked up. Time was too, all over the time place. Time was terrible. Time was awful. Time was bad. We there was a point where me and Josh were having a side conversation. Marty had to cut it out of the show. Because me Did and Josh. I? Yeah, because me and Josh, Josh, and I went, Josh, you know you're talking to the mic, right? Oh. All we hear is us talking over Jay goes. Oh yeah, like, <laughs> we're probably gonna cut that. Because <laughs> you can't hear shit that we were all saying. Over the and then there was a point where I'm like, "Are you saying words?" <laughs> I think that might have been stuck in the. I think that was in the podcast. But I'm like, Josh, did you say English shit? Because it sounded like you were speaking some Ewok weird shit, and I think he was just mumbling. But there was a couple of times we had to stop and cut it out because there was just too much mumbling and jumbling bullshit. It we're on mushrooms. Went off the rails towards the end. We were on mushrooms. I didn't remember. It was so scary because we filmed on the up. Tuesday. My editing schedule is hefty. I don't get back. I don't circle back to the episode until Saturday and Sunday. So I had Wednesday, Thursday, Friday to really just wonder what the fuck was in that footage that I was going to find because I had no clue. It was a whirlwind. I didn't remember anything <laughs> until I started watching it back. And then once I started watching it, I remembered my POV. Yep. It's me too. The whole time. And it was completely different from reality. I only ate a half a chew. Aggressively, though, it was a true half of the whole bar, but it was only half. But it sent me, though. I was on the, the brink of hostage, <laughs> of being a fucking host. Dude, it was bad. Mm. It was bad. But hold on. Back to that, since we're way off track today. Uh-huh. You ready? The Josh Wolf episode. Guys, when I was in Indiana, we had some, a couple come up, give us artwork. It was One was Marty's face, which is his profile picture, and one was my face, like some dripping-ass, dope-ass picture with like a joint. He made us shirts, came to the Indiana meet and greet and gave us shirts. Right here, Marty, bringing up across the screen his Instagram name. I'm sorry, I can't remember off the top of my head. That's his Instagram. Thank you so much for making Lenny it. Lenny made it. Lenny made it. Oh, yeah. it was. I was like, oh, it's like a Marty shit. Yep. Lenny made it. Thank you. Lenny made it. He made us some pretty sick ass shirts, guys. He made me two and Marty two. So we have an extra one. The only other ones on earth are in Marty's closet and my closet. And next, they're going to be in your closet. They're different sizes. If it doesn't fit, you just keep it. One on one. Yeah, you got you get what you get with you this. Get, Mine's only, a large. Yeah, so there it is. All right. It's only another size. If it's too big, probably for you, for mine, just keep it. All right. We're gonna give these away. We're gonna give them away. I know we were gonna keep them, but fuck it. If we have two and they're like basically one of ones, only we have it, and only one other person in the world has it. Fucking dope. And you guys are our fans. It's a solo episode. We can do this, Ren. I don't really want to do this during guests. By the way, guests, hold on. We want to give shit away. Like, nah. We'll do this during our solo episode. So, guys, we're starting it now. This is the first time we're doing it. And I picked the names. Oh, oh you did? Yeah, oh, I picked the names. All right, cool. I went through this. I went through the comments of the Josh Wolf episode. So, you guys know on YouTube comments, up to the first thousand are always answered back. After that, it trickles down to like 40 a day. Basically, we do like another hour and lower. We do them all to a thousand. Then we do like half an hour to an hour a day. So we might miss yours, but it's not on purpose. It's just we didn't get to it in that hour. It's as many people as the entire theater at the atmosphere show that you answer comments to. Yes. That's crazy. Yes. Rocco does a huge part portion of it. But like what? A but huge what? portion of it now. Let's go. That's eight hours a day. Yeah. So we don't have that anymore. So we're, we're trying. All right. So we went through the comments and I was like, you know what? Today, I'm going to pick top comments. I'm going to go through the top comments, and I'm going to pick two people, and you win. So if you're watching this, I'll find your name. Please hit us up. Let us know. We'll get your information, your email. You win the shirts. We're just going to give them to you, ship them to you, because I think it's really cool. This is Marty's idea. Shout out Lenny Made It. Shout out 
everybody making the cool fan art. I love that so much. This I'm built my career off doing fan art and to see people making cool shit for us now is weird. Fucking awesome. Uh, it's weird. <laughs> it's odd when people make sure you go, you spent the time. Wow. It's so dope. So sick. It's people so are cool. talented. It's so cool. Yeah. That's another thing. Like you made this. What? To have fuck? like it's Halloween season. I'm a cyborg fucking whatever it is. Dripping shit. It's, it's sick. Come on. Um, so the first person we're going to pick, this is Corbin Murphy. All right, Corbin Murphy, this is you. It's a Mario logo with like a, it's like a hipster Mario. That's his profile picture. Nice. That's you right there. Um, that's his comment. All right, he's just, I just picked it more, it's more of the top comments and I went Let's through. Go. I'm like, you know what? Super positive comment. Mm-hmm. There you go right there. You went. What's the gist of his comment? I didn't read he it. says the fact that you replied to every comment I have last le- you've replied to every comment I've left on the past 50 episodes oh, is insane. Genuinely wish to work for you one day. <laughs> and officially we've been doing Dope Yolo for 4 years straight on YouTube. Every week uploads for 4 years now. So, we've answered we've had over 800,000 comments. I can put the lifetime and we've we get answered. to just go one billion comments. Yeah, we can't. We can't <laughs> almost, guys. But we've answered back probably five hundred thousand. Mm. It's a lot of comments, man. I used to spend six hours a day for three and a half years straight. I just realized I could reply to my Instagram DMs with quick little voice messages, and it's way fucking. Faster I said videos. Than <laughs> people get hyped when they go, "Hey, what's up, man? I just want to let you know, man. Yo, thank you so much, man. Sorry, I'm filming right now, but fucking appreciate you." And then you just get back. No fucking way! <laughs> yeah. Oh, I never best, thought bro. about doing a it's video. It's the best. Like, thanks, man. Sorry, I'm smoking a bowl real quick. My daughter's <laughs> in the house. Thank you, guys. It's way more personal, and I think people appreciate it more. Just remember to pre- allow replay because some people don't expect it. They're like, yo, I wanted to save it. Gotcha. It's just something like you DM'd your favorite artist and he back. Yo, what's up, man? I'm, out. I'm making a song right now, but I appreciate you so much. Nobody does like, that. <laughs> Shut the fuck up You would lose your mind uh-huh. And you'd be so excited And that's why I would do that shit Cause like dude If I, I could do that, that Make someone's fucking day By simply existing so cool. Let's fucking do it So that Right there Corbin Murphy Fucking appreciate you So thank you so much You win the shirt Or one of the shirts Me or Marty Whoever replies first Basically And if the size matches That's what shirt you'll get We just want to make sure Hopefully it fits And if it doesn't Just like yeah, put it on your wall or something. I don't know. You might sign them on the back. These oh no, sorry. Right. We are gonna sign them. Yeah. We are gonna sign them. If we don't, if we can't find a way to sign it, we'll sign something else and send it with the shirt. All right. Next one, Majin four twenty wise one. The greatest story time mystery has just been solved. Josh and Jake are the best guests you've had so far. Dude, that- I watched the clip where his son revealed what happened. Oh, really? You you didn't see it? I didn't see it. Jake comes out and says, What the fuck? <laughs> he comes from the back, like, no. And he really just, just pops it out. Josh, you could tell he's like, <laughs> you could see he didn't know it was coming. And it says, Oh, you know, I'm Josh's older son. Like, just want to let you guys know something. It was me that ordered the porn. Wow. Like, oh no way. 15 year mystery so- or 10 year mystery solved. Greatest porn debacle in American history, damn near amazing you might have to bleep that that's might be a bad <laughs> trigger words man <laughs> okay that's a good when point, we're in yeah. this edit marty when you're like that and you're editing Damn. go bleep bleep uh trigger got words. It. probably not the best probably not the best words i snapshot the time Never, well, i looked down <laughs> did you yeah i do that all the time uh-huh. for everyone out there how do you remember things so much i literally screenshot things i look at the room you want to know why i have a great memory visually Cause I was so afraid of monsters and shit when I was a kid. Did you ever think a monster is going to go under your bed and grab your leg and you're going underneath when you're walking? Lightly, your bed? not like too or much. cut your ankle. I always thought I was scared of Chucky, so I always thought like Chucky was going to be under there, slice. I didn't shit. get that visual till I saw Hostel. Ew, ew. Then I thought that, about that made me not want to travel. <laughs> no. when I was a teenager. That scared yeah. me. But no, I would do this. I know a lot of you do this too. Walk to the to the room to the door where the lights at and go. Oh, look what's around. All right, if I jump. One, two, jump. I would visualize and I go like that. I would do this, turn the light on, off, turn it back on, screenshot it every fucking night so I wouldn't eat shit. And eventually got to the point where I just go like this. One, two, three, jump. Boom, right in my bed. Because I always knew like if you put your ankle by that fucking bed, someone's going to slice your shit or a monster's going to grab your fucking leg. I was scared as a kid. 
So that's how I, th- I think that's why I got a good memory. Doesn't, man. ma- doesn't help <laughs> you got Howie Mandel out there, like literally doing that shit in movies and stuff. So what do you mean, Little Monsters? Oh yeah, no, that's a good one. Yeah, I was afraid awesome. of Chucky, man. That shit was kind of <laughs> Little Monsters, dope. I was afraid of Chucky. Yeah, but no, for real. That's I think that's what helped my memory a lot. I mean, I've, I remember shit from when I was a baby. I've had a great memory, but visually remembering, like right now, ready? I can tell you what's in the room. Like <laughs> you're just I'm, when I do this, it's just. Physically to like, all right, you did it. Like a screenshot. But in reality, you're just like looking, going, okay, I can yeah. place everything in my head right now. Like right now, I could walk all the way to the car, eyes closed. Because I'm like, you know, you're you're mm. doing some daredevil shit. You can see the fucking yeah. vibrations and whatever. I'm not for real, but I can. That's I how remember I used to do certain things in like in Franklin uh, slow-mo drive. Like there's certain moments in life that like, <laughs> even in real time, like yep. slow-mo. One time in life that's happened to me. Only once we almost got T-boned and we we're at a stoplight mm-hmm. and the fool just came out of nowhere, almost killed us. The thing is I went, Hey, hold on, wait, that car's going weird. And then my homie just stopped for a second. Went, what? Turned around, went, and that fool was sliding sideways at us and it was in slow motion. I went slow motion. And he somehow went like this <laughs> and went around us and mm-hmm. like impossible miracle shit. Everyone looked at each other like, do you guys saw the way that turned? <laughs> like, we all looked at each other like, was that a miracle? That was pretty crazy. That's the only time I ever saw something super slow motion. Like, it was realistically slow motion where I could look around like, what? Mm. You know, that feel like on drugs motion. Like, yeah. that's how I felt. Ugh. Mine, I was referring to it was a fucking white trash argument where I was like, is this Shut real? the fuck <laughs> <laughs> Is this really fucking real? Is <laughs> what I was thinking in the moment. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> was there a gun? On the cops. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's your slow mo moment? A white trash argument? Yeah. It was so white trash, it became slow-mo. It was astonishing. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> yeah. Do you mean to tell me your beard comes in all white trashy <laughs> like that? <laughs> hey, man, if you came to make fun of me, I'll just leave your radio show. I love Joe Dirt. But also, are you fucking kidding me right now? That was the most wild shit you have ever said in how many episodes are we in? That many. I don't think I've ever heard you say something more wild that I did not expect. Okay, I thought right, you were right, gonna right, say right. like, yeah, no, it was one just, time it was my homie shocking. had that fucking shotgun and these fools no. rushed us. No, no, a white trash argument. You felt so ignorant and not want to be involved, and I went, mm, yeah, well, I, I got to get us. out of this place. Literally, it was like just so bad. The what? It was just a really bad argument that was like, yeah, crossed into Springer territory and how bad it got. Is your family, at least. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can you talk about, talk about what happened? Yeah. Can yeah. you say it? It was, it was around the whole incident at Ariana's birthday party with the cops and all that. And but that's what the white trash thing was? Oh, yeah. There were two black dudes that did that, though. How is this white trash? Because my... Oh, because the way your family reacted? Yeah. Oh, shit. Please tell me, dude. I'm just going to leave that one alone. Oh, no. <laughs> no see, I mean, see, that's why I asked. And yeah, now you're like, no. no that, yeah, it was just... I was just had never seen us turn on each other before on like your own that. family on your own family yeah because of what your friends did they turned on each other that doesn't even make fucking sense a lot of shit doesn't make sense <laughs> so okay i get why the slow-mo happened it did it was that bad. i get it like oh because that doesn't damn, make sense your nice. homies did some shit so your family beat the well, shit out of each f- other oh because they're your brothers yeah like, oh it was, it was uh, all tied in. but Buffalo, the only place where yeah. two black dudes are involved <laughs> in directly white trash family arguments. Some Isn't that what it says when yeah, you go into the town? Uh, yeah, city Buffalo, of. city of only place where two black dudes can cause white family trash arguments. One of the dudes is a raven. But <laughs> oh, that's right. Malachi, right? Sorry, my bad, my bad. I only know these people from the stories. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> the only place where ethnic people can cause... The only place on earth with no Mexicans, Buffalo, New York. This is man. <laughs> this is Never all I know is shit this. that yeah. you tell me. Yeah, yeah. So I'm just picking shit from other episodes. <laughs> I was thinking how epic a vlog would be if you we ever did do like a meet and greet there. 
Oh, a meet and greet, mate. You want to go vlog? Buffalo? No, I don't. I don't want to. You do did this that at all. already. Yeah. You have those videos and you send them to me all the yeah, time. Yeah, They're yeah. ghetto as shit. Yeah. <laughs> those are good enough vlogs. Yeah. You're but right. hold on. It's not something I want to do. If we did a meet and greet, we should do a meet and greet there one day, first off. Second, white trash argument made you fucking slow mo. This is the craziest <laughs> shit. I can't wait to tell Rosie tonight. I'm going to, the second I get in the door, you know what Marty said today? It's traumatizing. I do that every time I get back. I'm like, you want to know what the fuck happened today? Every time we do a show, I tell him like, yo, Marty said some shit today. Because who the fuck else am I going to tell right away? I'm like, yo, the shit you'll watch Monday. Like, no, nah. Marty, I can't believe it. I can't wait to get that. I'm going to fucking have someone tag that on the, on the thing in <laughs> Buffalo. Welcome to Buffalo. <laughs> We need a bigger sign here. Hold on. Yeah. Right. Hold on. <laughs> There's papers. <laughs> Yo, this wasn't an hour and a half. Me and Marty looked at each other. I'm like, let's keep uh, it tight. It's midnight. It's, it's it is 1230 yeah. on the dot. Yeah. I'm sorry. We've been here for a while. Also, this was fucking out. awesome. Yeah, we needed this. After that last episode. <sighs> we need a reset. I forgot what it felt like to do a normal episode. Yeah. Also, I will never do psychedelics on the show anymore. Yeah. I'm going to say that. Done. Maybe even lightly drink if we go on drink champ type shit. Other than that, I just stay on point. I'm trying to become a motherfucking late night talk show motherfucker at this point. Because this, the other day when I nailed that ad, I go, I could do this on TV one day. Remember when I nailed Live, it? Yeah. That was so it's pretty close. Yeah, oh my, I was so mm -hmm. proud. Even though I was talking about my dick. It was a Manscaped <laughs> ad, but with that it sounded so professional. I love this show. We can do whatever we want. In, in YouTube guidelines. But I love this show. Yeah. The fact that we can oh, say and, that. Oh, and yeah. Um, we can talk about the Spotify too. And can we? Love. They're showing. Yeah, I think I think so. Motherfucker. Official. Right now. Right now. You can go to Spotify. Officially partner with Spotify. Dope Juju Podcast. You know that. But they may or may not have given your motherfucking friend over here the Dope Azula Storytime channel. <laughs> Fully partnered no Dope Zola, no age restriction no fucking censorship i got video you can go watch story time videos go type in spotify dope is yola you may or may not see me pop the fuck up dope is yola story time is a channel on spotify now guys as fucking channel we're still gonna change the artwork make it a little different but right now it's up go listen leave some reviews please appreciate it leave those five star shit help me out we're smoking weed on Spotify. Season I think, one, I have a 30 pack in one of the episodes. Uh -huh. just pat, I left it there just to uh -huh. be like, let's just leave it and don't say a word. I think it'd be funny. And that was like 8,000 comments of people like, this fool didn't even mention this pack. So <laughs> I, put a, I put a basket and I put like 25 pounds right there. Yeah. And I just left it. I'm like, yeah, let's talk right here. I thought it was funny. Instead of this bush tree, tree uh -huh. in the shot, it was all packs. Yeah. I'm putting that bitch on Spotify. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine? Not even that, like, what if we gain other fans that never see exactly. any of our stuff? Of course. Spotify's a big platform. Well, just keep making this community bigger. And it's like, yeah, thank you, Spotify, for just thank letting you. us be us. And thank just you to everyone. Do our Spotify. thing. Thank you. No questions or verifying or Marty Jurassic Graphics music page without even asking? Come on. Blue check mark Marty? Oh, come on. It's too dope. It's too sick. It's awesome. But also, yeah, you can watch Dope as Y'all. Story time series. Uh season four is on there. We're gonna go to three, two, one. I could see Spotify becoming a place for like the explicit version of fill in the blank. That'd be great. And just not have to worry about it. That'd us. be so fucking cool. But that deal is gone. I mean it's done. So thank you very much. And uh we're getting down to it a little bit. I think we can talk about it. We did the fan giveaway. Um one more thing. Are they going to be live by the time we're, this episode's out? No. No. So, just because this episode's out, we're going to talk about it. You, we, you guys saw the dope as usual bongs. With Prism Glass, we got some sick-ass bongs coming out. Just check our Instagram. We'll let you guys know when they're coming out. But dopeasusualpodcast.com, that's going to have everything. We have a bunch of different sizes, a bunch of different colors. It's super cool. All right, we're not saying go buy them, but if you go check them out and you haven't bought them, it's all good. Learn more. Learn more, yes. Thank you. Learn more at the dope as usual podcast.com or dope as usual podcast.com. Not Coming the, very soon. Next week, essentially. These things are high quality. They're These dope. These things are made in USA. They're dope. They're portable. They're easy to clean. 
They're customizable, different sizes, different colors. I'm excited. I'm, I'm excited. This, these are sick. Because it's not just like, oh, we got our own like glass out now. It's like, they're no, different. They're actually way better than probably what you got. Like, you're going to be like, well, everyone that's walked in goes, whoa. And I'm like, yeah, good <laughs> shit. That's what I want to hear. Fuck. Yeah, dude, they're, they're cool. They're, they're, they twist off. So you, they're so much easier to clean. And I didn't think about it until we did it. Go, oh. Clean this yeah. shit five seconds. Jake Wolf was like astonished. Oh, he was. That's true. That's true. But yeah, those are not going to be live by the time this episode's out. But it's Monday right now. Check tomorrow. Probably this coming week. Yeah, I would say this coming week. Yeah. And then before we get out of here, can we talk about one more piece of information? The New York one. Uh huh. We can say it, yeah. I'm talking about it. It's heavily, heavily, heavily in the works. Like as much in the works as it can be. I don't be care if I got to fly being, back, I'll do it. Yeah. Okay, it's finally here. That. It's finally fucking here, all right? It's finally happening. I fully intend on trying to make this man go, I don't think I can smoke anymore. I go, all right, <laughs> you pass that torch then. I am the <laughs> official get people too fucked up on podcast guy now. Pass wow. it over. This is weird to be a part of this. Now, I'm not saying that's that's what's going to happen. I'm not saying I'm going to take your spot. <laughs> no. No, I'm doing my own shit. I don't give a fuck. I'm saying like. Metaphysically. Yeah, like. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can do it. You start doing it to people, you win. <laughs> you want motherfuckers? I'm going on Joey Diaz's fucking. They're going on Joey Diaz's show. I, I don't know what else to say. I was to say podcast show, not the show. We're gonna, we're finally making it happen. Okay, I can't fucking wait. Podcast swap. Woo! Whenever he's in LA, coming on the Dope as Usual podcast. But next week, when I'm in uh, New York, I spoke. Supposed to be set up, fully done. I hope it goes through. And if not, I'll fly back out there on the date that does work. But already, he said, they're like, yeah, got to find the date. Yo, finally happening, guys. Joey Diaz and I will be in the same room smoking fucking Oof. monsters this together. Crazy. I can't fucking wait. What a day. Oh, this room is going to be full of fucks, sweat, <laughs> smoke, and friendship. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, best case scenario, you guys, you go out there, you do it, you guys make a connection. He comes out here, we have Enjoy. an epic all time episode. Yeah, come through. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. Come on, guys. Thank you for making this all possible. And thank Bro, you, Malka. Come on. Shout out to Malcolm Media for making this happen. Finally, going on the Joey Diaz show. Get out of here. Crazy. I'm excited. The originator. Somebody I that I listened to that helped me get through my whole come up. Journey. When I first met you, that's all you. you that, that's yeah, one of the like, people you were talking about, like w the direction you were taking. Like, oh, the motivational shit. Like, right. Inadvertently motivational. Just yeah. By your like attitude. I motherfucker. You follow on Twitter? Yeah. That's the most positive guy ever. Yeah, I'm not on Twitter a lot, but I do follow him on Twitter. I'm pretty. Go sure. outside and have a great day and crush it. Cocksuckers. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's ended with the motherfucker. Yeah, he's like and, an Iron Sheik. And you, and you like the comedy. Iron Sheik of comedy. There you go. <laughs> Iron Sheik's got the best Twitter. Uh -huh. um, it's finally happening, guys. So excited for the Joey Diaz podcast. Come on. Epic. Epic as hell. So, so cool. And shout out to that kid when you just, when we said epic, it reminded me in the video. Shout out to the kid that ran past you in the airport as you were filming. Like, You're a legend. Oh, I'm but I'm going to miss my flight. <laughs> More epic. Uh -huh. You ready? That kid made my fucking day. I was like, dude, good timing. I was about to start. That was you awesome. You were like, what's up, everybody's double As you yeah. were starting the But video. the thing is, and I went, Trent's like, I recorded that. I go, oh, you recorded it? Even better. <laughs> I just thought it was funny. I'm like, yo, you caught me right when I was about to start, bro. Good shit. So sorry. And it was dope. He's like, I'm going to miss my flight. I did, did I tell you what happened after? Mm -hmm. I did. Yeah. Two seconds later. Two seconds later, over Trent's shoulders as he's filming. I look and I go, oh, my God, is that Anthony Michael Hall? <laughs> and it was. <laughs> and Anthony Michael, as I went, hey, what's up, you two? He, while I'm doing the intro, you'll see me do this. I looked over because I went, oh, and I finished my intro like, yo, that's Anthony Michael. Three times I'm doing an intro and some of my favorite people walk by me while I'm doing an intro. Last time I was doing an intro in Hollywood, Jonah Hill walks by me to get some shit at this Man, weed store or whatever. You see people. And you I was like that. Bird, yeah, as I was filming, I went, Fuck. There's Jonah Hill right there, but I'm doing an intro, bro. I'm not going to stop my intro to go say hi. I'm filming. Damn. And he walked by and went, come on, man. <laughs> fuck. And by the time I turned around, he was already inside. Yeah. And then fucking Bill Burr. I was like, come on. And then Anthony Michael Hall. If you don't know who Anthony Michael Hall is, you guys, you youngins, might notice the kid with the glasses like this with the joint, the meme that you see everywhere. That's from Breakfast Club. He's a kid from Breakfast Club. 
and uh, Edward Scissorhands. He's the dickhead boyfriend from Edward Scissorhands. <laughs> there, and he's also the guy from. Uh, come on, Anthony Michael Hall. What's that show? Can you look it up? That show from Fox. He was super popular on. He was like the Vision Man. He had a cane and a limp. What was the show called? Dead Zone. Dead Zone. Yeah, Anthony Michael Hall. I'm such a fan of him in Breakfast Club and shit. So I was like, yo. It's going to be a good trip. <laughs> Get fucking Anthony Michael Hall from Breakfast Club walking by. That kid made my day. Let's do it. So that's how that, all of that happened in six fucking seconds. Mm. Literally, as that kid walked by, all right. I looked past it. Holy oh, shit. <laughs> you're old now, Anthony Michael. Anthony Michael Hall, you're old. <laughs> it was weird. Guys, thank you so much for being here. Marty and I got to get going because he's got an hour drive in the dark. And I, I mean, I don't, but I, we got to get out of here too. Rosie's waiting. Um, we're chilling, guys. We're hanging out. Rocco, did you fall asleep? <laughs> Rocco just got back from there doing a photo shoot for Push Tree today. And then he came cool. over here, sat through we're the podcast, doing all the comments right now. Thank you very much. Guys, thank you so much for being here. What a what an awesome episode. I don't even know what to call it, but what an, a lot of wins, a lot of good things, a lot of self-reflection and growth. Great all right, doctor. Yeah, you hear that, Dr. Phil? We can hang out with you. Don't worry. We can talk. We can talk about self-reflection and growth. <laughs> the way Dr. Phil talks is the way uh, Ryan Reynolds talks in his Forrest Gump voice. Well, I'll just like, like, that's how I fear Dr. Phil. Like, you sound like a, like a sophisticated Forrest Gump. That's how I always, I always hear his accent. Anyway, um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> that was it. I was just talking about Dr. Phil. Don't worry, oh, man. I fucking love Dr. Phil in here. Because we were talking about the other day, like, yo, we can do mushrooms, get shit faced. But we also had Dr. Drew on the show. Yeah. We got a good array, good variety. Yeah. Exactly. Good variety of uh, streams of different people coming in. Mm -hmm. And as soon as I start not <laughs> doing mushrooms on the show, which I'm not going to do anymore, we can start getting Dr. Phil's. All right, Malka. Obama. Yo. Isn't that kind of crazy though? No, not imagine what season. Because mm. I never thought about. it. I went. That'd be an interesting interview to interview the next president. Be crazy. Rogan so got sick. Elon Musk to hit the joint. Yeah, I'm gonna get For Obama real. to hit the joint, it's bro. Possible. Oh, that's it's possible. Next. That's possible. on the list. Obama, you're on our podcast guest list. <laughs> Come through. Come through. Don't bring no secret security because they can't. No. No, because they're gonna get hot box and they're gonna be like, oh, sound like Hank Hill and shit. Like I'm good. Obama's boxing out. With the Yo, I, I think I think Barack Obama would smoke a joint with us, man. I'm gonna be honest. I see bright future Easy. for the show. It's, it's e, I, I and think I think that's, that's yeah. it's obtainable. You need goals. That's what you said at the start. I think it's obtainable. Uh -huh. <laughs> and it's so crazy to say that, like. Man, we just do wake and make videos. Like, yeah, I did, man. Well, fuck you. I can, we do. We still do wake and make videos. But it's crazy. It's crazy thinking mm -hmm. like first pictures. I cut up hot dogs and put ketchup for blood, and I redid movie scene. Mm -hmm. mm. And then I just was like, why don't you just do this with nugs? That's yeah. how this started. Yeah. Here we are, Obama. What? <laughs> <laughs> I love it so much stealing this fool's toys to make fucking pictures. <laughs> I still have your Spider Man. Um, all right, I think I think that's good. We're gonna get out of here, man. We never really Thank finished a guys. joint mid. I mean, mid, we never really finished the episode mid joint with this. That's the last one. That's why, guys. Thank you so much for being here. Really appreciate it. This has been a very fun episode. A lot of a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff going on. But thank you so much. If you haven't already, if you're in the chat, if you're watching, drop a like. If you're on the TV and you can't really drop a like, go on your phone and drop a like. That would be awesome. We really appreciate it. Above all, just tell a friend. Tell a friend to watch. This episode, a little looser, a little more rant city, but I like this shit. This is our catch-up episodes, guys. So thank you for being here. Marty, you got anything else you want to talk about? I'm just appreciative. Thank you, guys. That's it. Another fun episode. It's happening and checking in. Re wrapping, wrapping up. <laughs> Getting the fuck to it. <laughs> you paused. I was like, oh, this is a philosoph philosophical pause. <laughs> I'm just grateful. Like, all right, no, I'm, this is good. That was good. That's true. That's that all I good. ever say. That was good. It is. Maybe we can have someone cut it like the outro. Why you got anything you'll say? Just happy to be here, man. Thanks. Thank the different shirts and Bill's shirts and hats. <laughs> Backgrounds of that to over here. That'd be kind of sick. That'd 
that'd be kind of sick. There you go. I want to build like a little clip thing before we get out of here because the dope is yellow shit turns 10 next month. I was thinking like doing a little clip of it. Like highlight reel. Yeah, it'd be cool. Yeah. But guys, thank you for being here once again. Appreciate you. This has been the Dope As Usual podcast. We're here to talk about life, drugs, problems, accomplishments, and everything in between. Today was a whole lot of in between. A little bit of drug. No, a whole lot of drugs and accomplishments. Thank you guys so much for being here. Really appreciate you guys. Be safe driving. Be safe wherever you're at. If you're at work, the shift will be over. If you're at school, school ends. Thank you guys so much for being here. Have a dope-ass day. Woo! I should have eaten, eaten, eaten food. I'm feeling a little dizzy. Sure.